I don't even have to be there. Yeah, you're doing your no one can uh, no one can even hear me. Now I'm back. What's <laughs> <laughs> We'll fix it in post. I I can't fix it in post. This goes straight from stream <laughs> to YouTube. Yo, that overlay. Thanks, Dilksy, by the way. How <laughs> look how hype that looks. It looks actually really good. Dilksy, you made that like two minutes after the last one. <laughs> you really did. I'm proud of that. Huh. You should be. It looks really great. But enough about that. Recommended game of the week. Dilksy, go. StarCraft 2. Because I've been learning it, and I've found this really fun, <coughs> really entertaining, and really hard. And I think that's <laughs> a key thing these days, is the fact that games are too easy. You like, realize be... that game's like 12 years old, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the game is ridiculously old, but like they're still coming out with expansion. Yeah, 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 yeah. People say it's dead and stuff like that, and you need to be good at it. But because the game's so hard, that's why I enjoy it so much. Because you can't just go into it and be amazing at it, like in COD. Or you Yo, can't be lucky. you know, you have to be really good at it. We should buy it and play it and record it and fucking I've suck. Already got it. What? I've already got it. Yeah, so I should get it. Yeah, you can, should. Can you install it just through? on the computer or do you have to actually go out and buy the discs and shit you can buy it I online think you can buy a digital copy. awesome i might just do that and we can record later i don't give a fuck if it's late for you or not Dilksy. It, it does cost a lot how much does it cost like a lot <laughs> um maybe not then. Like are you wanting the expansion pack yeah you have to buy all of it oh all right, never mind the original and then all the expansion packs never mind fuck it I'll, I'll make my girlfriend get it for me for my birthday <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Oblivion, what's your recommended game for the week? What? Game for the week. Go, yeah. Strider, the new one that came out. Because I don't need a reason <laughs> for playing games about Cyber Ninjas. You're right, the game's pretty great. <laughs> Just Cyber Ninjas. Get it. <laughs> That's, all, That's you all you need to know. <laughs> Alright, so Just mine... Hacking everybody to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> so mine this week is... I was playing Hearthstone the other day. And I started uh, doing a face cam for when I stream sometimes. I've done it like twice in the past week. And the first time I did it, I was playing Hearthstone for a while. And I decided I got really bored. So I switched to Xbox, but I didn't know what to play. I looked over to my right and I realized I had a copy of old games. I threw in the original Halo Combat Evolved. Not this anniversary bullshit, but the original one. And I nostalgia it super hard. So that's, that's going to be my week for this one. Is just the nostalgia that is Halo Combat Anniversary original. Fair enough. It was Have just too good. Have you ever tried to keep the Marines alive? Yes. In combat evolved. Yes, it's <laughs> the hardest thing. I. They die so easily. You you punch them and they explode. It's pretty awesome. Their futuristic armor is made of paper. It really is. I guess you know paper repels plasma. It, that only it's makes so sense. Different. That is the only logical explanation. <laughs> I think I came into the Halo series quite late. I, I, I joined it in Halo 3. No, you, you joined it actually at the time that most people joined it. Yeah? It I, was, thought, well, I thought there was a big craze of it in Halo 2. It was Halo then, 2. Like, Halo 3 was like the big game. Yeah. But, you know. it was, there was that craze like, for Halo 2, 2 and then it was went was with a big craze, but 3 brought in most people. Yeah. Mm. They're making Halo, Halo 2 Anniversary. Two, like, I heard that it's very similar. It's amazing. Um, Halo 2 Anniversary is coming out soon. Is it? Uh, let's see yeah. here. Halo 2. I've missed a lot of Halo. I think the last one I got was ODST. Yeah, that was pretty awesome though. Yeah, I like that one. That was cool. I like, I, actually, Halo is one of the only games that I've played the campaign of. Because <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Like, I haven't played the COD campaign since COD oh, 4, yeah. I think. It has a great... Yeah, it, so the campaign it's awesome. amazing. Yeah, um... Oh, fuck. What was I gonna say? You need to get live again, and we'll do the ODST campaign together. Or me? Yeah. But if I get live, then I'll have... I will do no work. <laughs> what? When, when I finish off university, I'll get live again. How about that? Okay. And then we'll do ODST and shit and stuff. I'm sure, yeah. I need to find the discs, but I have no idea where they would be. <laughs> but yeah, I've got Halo 3, 
ODST. I think I have Reach. I think I got it from a friend for like five pounds. <laughs> the only Halo I don't have is two, and that's because it's my stepdad's, and I, I think it's in storage. But I have one on the original Xbox. I have three, four, and Reach, and ODST is in the Reach box, because my friend let me borrow... Uh, my I gave my friend uh, my Reach like to borrow yeah. for a while, and I guess he put ODST in there, because he was one of those stupid asses who would put like games in different cases like a dickhead. And um, <laughs> no, fuck you. And I guess he didn't realize that he put his ODST thing in, like, he, he was in the disc thing, and I guess he put Reach back in without yeah, looking. Yeah. So now I have ODST and Reach, and I don't think he knows. <laughs> and that was like four years ago, so. Awesome. <laughs> so I got a free One day ODST. Bring you up and be like, hey, you know that disc that I gave you? Uh, can I have it back? Like, well, I don't know what you're doing. Dude, I'm, I'm 3,000 miles away. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> If you, you want to come and collect it, then fuck. No, he's not. <laughs> he doesn't. Fuck that. Um, so, also, Dilksy and your Twitter power for the last podcast. It's funny. Damn. Yeah. Well, I, I wanted to talk again because I'm probably... Today's Tuesday, and I'm going to make a video and upload it today, and then this is going to be uploaded tomorrow on Wednesday. But uh, I really uploaded one video this week, and I was really upset because I, I was like, I'll upload a video, and then I'll start rendering. No, I'm not. I just, I gotta get into it. I gotta just, what I'm gonna probably gonna do is just finish Ghosts, and then do stupid bullshit until I get dark. Oh, wait, no. I can get, I get to do Ghosts, and I get to do one more game before uh, Dying Light and Titanfall come out for 360, because I... Titanfall! Titanfall! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, oh, um... Do you want me to make an app for you where uh, it's just me screaming at you to do your work? Yes, please, actually. That'd be pretty great. Just make a sound clip. Please. Get to work, you maggot! Yes, please. It, it'd help. Um, no, but I, I decided last... I was watching a stream, not last night, but two days ago, where uh, it was a guy that used to stream a lot, and he was one of my favorite streamers, and then he stopped for a while, and then he came back, and he's been streaming a little bit. And I decided, like, I was talking to him and people in chat, and I was like, I need... I'm gonna do Titanfall for my channel, which is... I, I was under the assumption, for some reason, because I don't do my research, but I thought Titanfall was gonna have a single player. No, it's Doesn't not. It? No. Uh, really? I thought it did have a campaign. Not the traditional kind. It's like a multiplayer, single-player single player thing. Yeah, wow. it, it's really... It, I I kind of feel like it's going to be like they did in Killzone 3, where it was like, you'll play the games and it'll progress to a thing, and it's like, oh, okay, cool. But, um... I was under that impression, and I when I when I found out it didn't, I was like, okay, I can just stream and do that to my YouTube as well. But I not, yeah. then I got to the decision. I was like, Dying Light or Dark Souls 2? What one do I want to stream and what one do I want to uh, like record for YouTube? And what I was thinking was I could do Dark Souls 2 on my YouTube and then stream Dying Light. Because I don't know, but I don't know the hype around Dying Light. I know it's like relatively obscure, but it's not at the same time. And I don't know if streaming that will be like, oh, look, you'll stream it and you'll get a fuck ton of people. Because I know Dark Souls 2, if you stream that th that night, everyone's going to be like Titanfall. And then if you stream it the day Dark Souls 2 comes out, it it'll be a little finicky as well. The, Wait, so Dark, Dark, Dark Souls 2 comes out at the same time as Titanfall? Yes. Okay. Um, there would be a lot of hardcore yeah. Dark Souls fans ready to watch that yeah. when it comes out before yeah. Titanfall. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking is I was just going to stream Dark Souls 2. Because Dark Souls is more of a game where I play and I can't comment. I can commentate over but it becomes more of, oh, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to slice you, bullshit, where it's, like, it, it's more of, like, I can stream it and focus. And, yeah. and no one's going to be like, you oh, you're being quiet, this is boring. Screaming, die, 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 die. Yeah, it's like, because it, on YouTube, you, YouTube, you can't put up a video of, like, you focusing, because everyone's like, oh, this is fucking boring, I'm leaving. Like, but you can stream and you can be quiet. You can't do Twitch either. Yeah. Well, you, it depends, like, with twitch and streaming you can react off chat if chat's in there and they're talking you can say something while you're playing but like if you focus to try and get through some things it's not yeah. a big deal um so that's what i was thinking is i was just going to record dying light and stream dark souls which is kind of cool and then i can face cam that which which would make me happy but yeah i really got off on a tangent that this isn't that wasn't even part of my but i'm gonna i'm gonna switch now from the hype of dark souls to i hit 100 followers on twitch last night Woo! Fuck yeah. Nice. Fuck yeah. Finally. I'm proud of you. He. <laughs> I use, use my Twitter powers to help. Dude, do it. Do it more. Use it more. 
<laughs> the Twitter power compels me. <laughs> that eighteen hundred followers, dude. I'ma hit it. You you probably just did, and you don't three, even know. Three away. <laughs> oh my god. By the time this comes Rising. out, you'll have it already. Um. I better. Yeah. So I hit a, a hundred followers on Twitch last night. You have a hundred and what, Oblivion? Like sixty something. Fifty-two. Oh, awesome. How many do I have? You don't I have even stream. <laughs> you have well, how much? 164. Fuck yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Shit. 100 club. Yeah. And I didn't even stream anymore. <laughs> the thing is, I would have already had way over that amount by now if it wasn't for the fact that every time I'd get a new follower, I'd lose like two. Yeah, <laughs> so. it's really stupid. I've been just networking like a motherfucker lately. Like, I, like in the last week, I had 83. So I popped 17 in a week. Because I've just been networking like a motherfucker. And I feel like face cam pulls people in too. Yeah, I think the biggest thing for... If you really wanted to grow and you really just wanted to have a high number of followers, just do giveaways. I think that is... Yeah, I saw a dude like who... The biggest thing. Some dude followed me on Twitter the other day and was like, check out my channel. And I was like, okay, I will. And I did today. And he's only been streaming for like two months. And he already has like 57 because he has a 100 follower and a 200 follower thing. Yeah. So it's just like oh. I mean that, that is it. If you if you put in the title constantly, give away a hundred followers, and then say or let's say, okay, so if you've got some good stuff that you can <laughs> give away, like let's say a Razor Naga, mm -hmm. if you gave away a Razor Naga a hundred followers, you would hit that like within a couple of days. If you yeah. were streaming for a good yeah. amount of hours anyway, and then obviously the issue with that is that you would have to then do better for the next one. Yeah, yeah. See, and then obviously you... you'd start struggling. You you'd live off of followers. You you wouldn't. You'd live off of giveaways. So you'd be basically spending more money than you could ever get back with Twitch. Exactly. Yep. And it's like they're not there for the content. They'll just jump in, hit follow, say I followed, sit there for five minutes, and then leave. Exactly. And then it's just like, oh okay. I mean Which, that's why I don't do giveaways on my. Channel I don't anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's why you need to focus on the viewer count and not the follower count. Yeah, that's also yeah. a bad thing, though. I focus on viewer count, and when it's like three, I'm like, oh, okay. I say don't I'm focus on like any dedicate yourself to it. No, no, I know. I have rest, and I have a few other people who pop in. Elegy popped in the other day, and that's when I asked him about podcast, and he's not fucking here. Mm. I don't even care. We'll get him one week. She you should just put in you next tell to the him box. that you were doing it today? Yeah. Okay, let me read out these fucking emails then. Alright? Let me let me pull up these emails because I have my handy dandy phone right here. Oh, damn. I was like, hey. So I mentioned last night, but I'll elaborate more. The podcast is either every Tuesday starting around 1.30 or 2 p.m. my time, or sometimes Wednesday if we're lazy, busy, sick, etc. It's on basically anything we want to talk about. You just start to game discussion and flows something else it involves the duty paid the dilks the oblivion chaos and myself give or take one of them for a guest thanks for considering he's like sounds good let me know and then i text him i'm like we're starting in uh i'm not texting on my email i'm like we're starting in three and a half hours just to give you ample time nothing so eh, whatever well, I, maybe it's just I, I put on not, twitter what did, did you say today did you yes. say that you were recording it tuesday today? Hmm. tuesday okay today's tuesday slash wednesday is he in you. the same time zone no he's on the east coast time zone so it'd be 5 30 for him oh Maybe he's busy? No, probably. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, shit happens. Next week or another week. Um, exactly. So, so, also, I wanted to segue super hard into... I found a new subreddit the other day. It, and, it, and it makes me laugh. No, no. It's it's wasted gifts. So, it's basically any gift that has someone get hurt. But instead of, like, right at the end, it'll slow down. It'll do the wasted, like, in Grand Theft Auto Five. <laughs> so, like, you remember that old you remember that old viral video where the kid uh, kicked the soccer ball and it bounced off the post and hit the dude in the face? Yeah. They had one of that and it bounced off and hit him. And it, just before it hit him, it slowed down and hit him. And it went all slow and gray. And it was, like, wasted. <laughs> and I was just like, I'm instantly subscribing to the subreddit. Awesome. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> it was fucking great. I haven't, I really don't go on Reddit that much. I think it's become one of those things that, like, when I first started doing Reddit, I was a complete idiot, and all I used to do was just spam my YouTube links to try and get yeah, more people. Yeah, because you're a moron. You get yes. blacklisted on every subreddit ever. No, no, no. I didn't get blacklisted. I, ba I basically... They do that now. Oh. And, yeah, well, the thing is that, obviously, I didn't understand how the community works on Reddit. It's very, very, like... 
erratic. Yeah. I suppose is the best way you could say it. Like you can either get a thousand votes and people are like, oh my god, he's amazing. Or just get shut the fuck down. Yep, yep. And you down votes for days, down. fucker. People instantly downvote you for that shit, too. No. They're just like, up oh, blacklist, downvoted. But you, what about if the video is good? It doesn't even matter. They see, hey guys, check out my new video, and they fucking blacklist it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, they see you as a troll, basically. Yeah, it, it depends on who you are. Like, like if it was like Uber Hacks or Nova never did it before, and he goes on Reddit and he goes, hey guys, check out my new video. They'll be like, fuck Nova, we all know who you are, but yeah, thanks. Yeah, but it's just... It's, famous, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. YouTube popularity. Yeah. Get away with anything. Or just make your own subreddit, r slash Dilksy. Yo, I'd sub. Well, you won't get away with everything. <laughs> Freaking game developers will tell you that. Oh, that's true. That's true. But yeah. <laughs> and then... I've got something to say. What? I found out that there's an event happening in the UK in August time where basically a lot of YouTubers get together and I was thinking as a cool idea and this is kind of just like I'm asking for your opinion would it be cool to do a kissing booth where basically I would get an iPad slash tablet slash my phone fuck yes I agree them, already have them sign in and they have to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then they have to kiss me Dude. And then that's how the kissing Fuck yeah. booth would work. Fuck yeah. Yo, that's hype <laughs> as shit. And then I was thinking this through, so, and I was like, that'd be pretty cool. And that would work so like, well. What about if there's a guy that turns up? <laughs> Who cares, dude? Do it. Make it a joke. Make a joke out of it. I'll give him a high five. No, just just do it. Don't so, be a bitch. Just kiss him. Go for it. Just go. Just go in. Don't go back on your word. No one says. No one said tongue or make out. You just got to do a peck, and you're good. Just leave it at kissing, though, so it's dictated by that person. But if Dugo goes up, just be like, yo, it's going to be a peck. And I'll be like, oh, cool, whatever. <laughs> yo, bro, I'm not gay, but I'll give you a peck. And it's like, oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, my God, Dilksy. I'm one of your 800 subscribers. I'm here for Tom Syndicate, but okay. <laughs> yo, if if Syndicate comes up on you and just tries to do it, you, you have to, like, oh my God, take a picture of that and everything. I'd be pretty hyped. <laughs> yo, you'd explode. You'd explode. That'd be pretty funny. That'd be but pretty yeah, great. that was my idea. And then I was like, could it be done? Yeah, it, it'll be done. Do it. Just do it. It could be done. Do I'm it. not saying, like, I need to, I don't know how the event works. It looks like there's just going to be, like, a big stage <laughs> full, full of big YouTubers. Yeah, just doing that. You just, which, you realize you're going to need more than one iPad, though, because more than one people, they're not going to stay in line for four hours while someone signs into YouTube, subscribes to you, and then signs out. Yeah. There, there'd have to be a system. Yeah. So then I, I don't understand the event. It might have to be something a bit different. I don't know. It was an idea. <laughs> Yo, I this... I just... Ah, I'm, I'm staring at this overlay. It's just fucking cool. And I, I put the Twitters of us instead of, like, our YouTubes just because I know our YouTubes are linked on our Twitters. And then Oblivion's Twitch thing is just scrolling because he doesn't have a Twitter. <laughs> I was thinking... Well, also, I have a Twitter. I just don't use it. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Also, another thing was... What's your guys' opinions on, like, branding and t-shirts and merchandise? Go for like, it. Do you, do you think YouTubers, like, can make a good, honest living off of just... Because I noticed that a lot of Rooster teeth. It's really overpriced. Rooster like, teeth. a lot of the t-shirts and stuff like that is so overpriced, isn't it, for, like, a shirt? Yeah, well, you realize that's also... They're running off hype. They're like, oh, we have these many people. Uh, it's also... It could be, like, a... They want to make money, too, because there might be a fee to make it. A shipping fee from the people they well, use... U US, yeah. US UPS like shipping well, fee or whatever they're getting it is. Them made by people, so yeah. they have to pay those people. As yeah. Well. But I mean, well, I mean that's the thing. I think how they work is like I've been looking into it a bit, and there's this site in in the UK. I don't know whether it's global, but um, it's called Spreadshirt. No. And basically, you can put your custom logo on it, and basically make a shirt, and it would come to like thirty pound or whatever, and then you can basically make your shop. And yeah. basically, if people bought it, then they would take 5%, 10% or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's how they would pay for the actual produ production of the shirt kind of thing. That's like Shark Robot. Like what? Shark Robot. Oh, is it the same kind of thing? Yeah, it's the same kind of thing. Yeah, well, yeah. Do it, dude. Like, if people want shirts, do it. Fuck it. Well, that's the thing. Like, I'll drop... Like, you got to make it international. Same, make it international. Because I want to buy a Dilksy shirt. I want to have your cartoon face on it saying amazing. And I'll walk around doing it. <laughs> I'll walk around wearing it. Not even joking. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. My name's Dilksy. And it's amazing. Amazing. 
But yeah, I've got a cool, couple of cool ideas. I want to have just a YouTube one. Yeah. Like, you know the YouTube logo? Yeah. And have a black shirt, and then on the back have um, a white text you're saying YouTube.com slash the Dilksy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think you probably can't cool do that. to have when you go to events and stuff like that. Probably can't do that. Why? Just do your face with a link on it. Do you like your face with like a thumbs up? Just like, hey! And you'll be good. <laughs> Because YouTube, the YouTube me. thing is, uh, the YouTube logo is copyrighted. Yeah, that's true. But then it's a shirt. I don't know how copyright works on shirts. No, it's it's the logo itself is copyrighted, so you can't put it on shit. But what about if it's just for me? It doesn't matter. Like, I wouldn't sell it on. It would just be my no, shirt. it doesn't matter. Really? Yep. Google would tear you apart. Yep, Google will literally fucking drone you. They'll, they'll, they'll send, like, an unmanned paper airplane with a bomb on it and blow your fucking... It, it won't kill you. It won't hurt you. It'll just blow up right in front of your shirt so it blows off the YouTube logo so your chest is exposed now. Yeah. Another another reason we need an animator just to animate that fucking paper airplane going right in front of Dilksy and then blowing up and just blowing his shirt off and nothing else. Fucking shit. So segueing again, because segways are weird. I was uh, watching a stream last night on a. Uh, I don't know if you know who STL Bar Wars is, but uh, this it's know. it's this bar in St. Louis that uh they stay open till like four a.m. and I, I think it's like three nights a week or whatever. They have fighting game tournaments there. Awesome. And and I was I was talking to those people and I was like, I wish there was a scene around here. And I realized Super Arcade is thirty five minutes away. And they do, like, the same thing. So you're a big fighter? I, I used to. I, I still, I'm i looking at my fight stick now. I think I might get back into it. Yeah, do it. Yeah, it's going to be cool. I love people who do fighting games. So I think that just takes true skill. Yeah, it's really like, hard. Good at fighting games. I, I used to be really, really good at Skullgirls. And I used to be really good at uh, Street Fighter 4, too. Like, I was supposed to... I was planning on going to EVO this year. And then that was, like, last year, right after EVO in the summer. And I stopped playing for like two months, and then I played like three weeks ago, and I'm fucking garbage now. And I'm just like, I'm... <laughs> not this year. See, my friend plays Street Fighter Four, and mm-hmm. like he's really good at it, and like he's been playing for a long time. But mm-hmm. then like he's still learning these new things, and I'm like, yeah. how the hell can you still be learning? It's because like, surely you know a character so well no. that you know everything about nope. him. <laughs> nope. There's always more you can do. There's always more you can learn. Because if you I look, think I think also he learns different characters as well. I yeah. think that's another thing. He it's... doesn't just not have his one guy anymore. He has like mm-hmm. five. Yeah, well, really you need to have. Well, I I fluctuate characters, and I really don't like it. I need to I need to buckle down and learn one really well in Street Fighter. In Skullgirls, I have Double and I Affilia, and whatever, that's fine. That that team is too strong. But um, it's in Street Fighter especially. Like if you look and you watch, like in the amateur. At, you can see at amateur level and below, they're really slow fights and like it's people feeling each other out and making mistakes. At the mid level, yeah. at like intermediates and really like semi pro, you'll see them fast paced and going in and making mistakes. And you'll watch Evo and everyone's slow again. It's like what what's the point of this? But <laughs> if you watch the finals and slow, like you'll see even one hit can change the entire fucking game. And it's just yeah. one of these things where you know your character so well, you know your hitboxes, your frames, your everything so well that you can kick once and back up and say I win. Like wow. It's it's it takes dedication. It takes a long time to get good at fighting games. Yeah. I mean like my friend for example, like he's been playing for a long time and he knows like a lot of the like really key stuff. Mm-hmm. But like he's still like obviously not he's like still, he's really good at the game. Like don't get me wrong, he's good. But then obviously cuz he's still learning, I still feel like even though he destroys me, he's still finding new ways to destroy me yeah. every time I try and play him. So I'm just like, I'm trying to block a certain move, and he just comes along and does something completely crazy. But then um, I used to, like, he used to go to these uh, land tournaments kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, one time I went, and basically I was just watching this fight, and it was just, like, crazy. Like, they were both just doing stuff, blocking each other, and then all of a sudden, this guy's health just dropped. Yeah. Because, like... My friend, he just dropped this awesome combo, and then it's he just melted. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that, it's like just finding that one opportunity, and then just completely it's, just screwing him over for it. It's all about learning your bread and butter combo, which is basically like if you what next time you play your friend, watch what he does, or even if you can remember, you'll notice he'll do the same five six hit combo on you, but he'll end it differently. It could be like a jump 
mid to a uh, standing mid heavy to a low like to a low light like yeah. light punch and then he'll do something different every time that's a little bread and butter combo that if you catch someone with that jumping mid and they're not ready to block it you punish super hard or if they screw up and they whiff something like say someone whiffs the the most whiffed move i've ever like that the most common whiffed move is a sure you can from ryu or ken or whatever where you just completely fucking miss and then you'll just get annihilated because they punish you super hard it's just yeah, one of those things what happens to me <laughs> yeah it's... i use ken a lot so every time i miss a sure you can he just like i'm putting the out i'm like no yeah it's it's fucking it's terrible nasty. It, it's not fun. <laughs> but I mean, fighting games are great. Game. I love fighting games. I heard that there's a new Street Fighter uh, thing coming out. Yeah, it's Ultra Expansion. Street Fighter 4. Awesome! Yeah. They're updating a bunch of shit. That, that, I'm not even going to play Street Fighter until that comes out so I can get it for 15 bucks and then I'll start learning Cody again. 15 bucks? Yep. That's so cheap. No, it's 15 bucks if you already own the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> That makes sense. Yeah. So it's DLC. Basically, it's it's a complete game changing DLC. It's like saying it's like saying uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, you're playing it now. Pay fifteen dollars, the entire thing changes. So now you're fighting dinosaurs in co-op. <laughs> Basically. Wow. Yeah. Surely that screws over everyone who plays Street Fighter now. Nope. Because like, they're not. They don't want it. They're not super mega changes, but they're changes to like frame data. Their changes to how much damage things does. Their changes to how much everything does. Because they don't update the game. They release it and they don't update it after that. It's like, Makes sense. learn your frames, learn everything, cool. And it'll be out for like two, three years. And then it's like, update. And everyone needs to relearn. That's why you'll see like, uh, like this past Evo last year, when this the guy who won was playing Gen, who's that old dude. And when he first started yeah. in round one, everyone's like, Gen can't win. Why are you playing Gen in Evo? <laughs> and, and all of his team members were like, watch. He's a good Gen. He ends up winning. He beat, like, Infiltration, who uh, I believe he beat Infiltration. I could be wrong. It's months ago. But who was, like, the number two or three in the world. And, like, Daigo was lost. And, like, it's just you can see all these different characters being learned now. And you realize, like, shit, that's going to change in a little bit. Yo, have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen that video of uh, Daigo getting pissed off as Ken and blocking that Chun Li uh, Ultra and then fucking him up? No, no. I oh, it was yet. against Justin Wong. Google it. Google. Uh, Google. Google. Google Daigo versus Justin Wong parry. Oblivion. Have you seen that? Daigo. Oblivion. Justin, Justin Wong parry. Oblivion's not even here. What the fuck? Way to be quiet. Street dude. fire. What? Oh I hi. Am? Good. Have you seen that video? I said no. Oh, okay. I, I can hear you. No. It's pretty great. Okay, I'm muting. I'm, I'm watching this. <laughs> Alright, he muted. So, uh, yeah, Oblivion, it's, it's pretty great. Uh, Let's talk about him. <laughs> he's such a bitch. Look at that hair, so wavy. That oh, fucking sh- ring. That Who lip ring thing. Like that? Oh, he does. He's caught in a tornado. He's like one of the Olsen twins. <laughs> <laughs> Perpetual tornado. Um, but how is Strider, by the way? <laughs> Like, explain Strider to me since I haven't seen anything. I know they made some fucked up remakes by US Gold, but. Yeah, well, this was made by Double Helix, the guys who made the yeah. new Killer Instincts. Yeah. And um, they made a lot of changes from the original Strider. Like, they, they turned it into a Metroidvania. Yeah, I, I mean, I've seen video gameplay of it. I just, I, I've noticed, like, little changes. Like, his scarf is kind of cool as fuck now. And, like, he's got part robotic stuff on him. And, and they kind of made it futuristic and made him fit it. But it seems like it's more like the first and second one. Way more than anything else has been since then. Yeah, they made it super close to the first one. They added in a bunch of stuff, like the, um, what's, what's it, what is it, Roman General <laughs> Kyle? I can't remember his, but, um. I can't hear you. You're, you're lagging. Uh, everything's quiet. They, they, they actually used some of his, um, old script. Oh, uh, awesome. <laughs> his old script. Uh, yeah. My back now. Yeah, you're good. Wow. Like, uh, wow. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I just, that's all I can imagine when there's like this massive tournament. It'd be awesome. 
If you if you listen to the announcer, sorry, Oblivion, but if you listen to the announcer, he, right before it's, it's like that, they're like, oh, rare, rare footage of Daigo angry, and then someone yeah. and then someone in the crowd was like, finish him, Justin, and like an '80s movie, Daigo's like, no, crazy, yo, that's like amazing. The like, crowd so got super school, hyped. But, oh my god, now you're now that's you're all in general. That, that what? That's that's third that strike. The original? Oh, okay. Street Fighter 3. Alright, uh, continue Oblivion, sorry. Uh, um, but yeah, they used some of his original lines. Like, he will actually um, scream at you, you will never leave Eurasia alive. Stuff like that. <laughs> but, um, when you were talking about his scarf, but I don't know if you've seen it or not, but when you get the different plasmas for your cipher, the scarf will actually change color no with your way. cipher. That's cool. And you can actually watch it fade in it'll it'll fade out the old color and the new one will just fade in with it that's awesome yeah. i uh, i know also um, they changed the sisters of wind to where you have to fight one and then the second one you fight two of them and then the third one you fight all three because wasn't in the original you fought all three of them but, at um, the same time yeah you fall three of them at the same time they also changed like their um how they fight each one of them has like different weapons mm -hmm. they use yeah. different styles and when you fight them when they start getting added in, they start combining their moves. Yeah. It's very crazy. Yeah, it looked pretty great. Fuck. Now I want to play Street Fighter. <laughs> Do it. No. I've got Street Fighter. I'm terrible at it, but I've got it. On PC? <laughs> no. Yeah, see, never mind. Why? Do you... Do you do, I, I've got it on Xbox. I have it on PC. But... But Xbox. But PC. Yes, yeah, oh, is the guy without. The says keys. the to the guy without law. No, I have a fight stick. Look, I'll, I'll clack and clack it for you. That's some good clacking right there. Yeah, I have an eight button fight stick. I bought it for like 120. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, but um. Yeah, we no we have to record soon, Dilksy. We have to do Left 4 Dead too. Dude, we have to do so much. There's there's so much planned and like we, right now we never do anything like, together. Yeah, that's because I'm freaking busy, bro. Fuck. I've got, I've got uni stuff to do. Yeah, so do I, and I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but I'm in my final year. Yeah, After but this, I can do whatever I want. Yeah, once I have yeah, the but last three months are done. That's it. Yeah, done. but pull an all nighter with me tonight. Fucking, no. we'll record a bunch of shit. Why? No, what do you have to do tomorrow? I lecture tomorrow. You have what? I've got a 9 a.m. lecture tomorrow. Dude, four hours of sleep is fine. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> I need my sleep. No, you don't. <laughs> Yo, I don't even get... I get, like, three... Two or three hours before school. And it's just like, yeah, okay. Crazy. Yeah, well, I also get up, go to class. Maybe I'm out of it, but I'll take notes. And then when I don't remember, two days later, I'll be like, oh, this is all the notes I have now. Like, I'll be like, oh, what the fuck happened in class two hours ago? Oh, this happened in class. Okay. It's not hard. God. <laughs> That's the wrong attitude towards work. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> it's pretty great, I should actually. really write down notes I, more. I just, I just imagine him going to school, just like, oh, I'm here. Basically. <laughs> just collapse. I was <laughs> sick on Monday, and I went, oh, uh, yesterday. And I went to school, and I felt like garbage. And I was just like, oh, I'm here. And we had a group project we were doing, and like my group met early, so I had to be there an hour and a half early to start to work on this group project. And I was there, and I was working, and I was just like, I, I don't, I, I can't, I don't. And I still did the most work, and I was just like, fuck. I went to class, and I took notes. I instantly walked out of that class, and I went, what the fuck happened? So on the bus home, I was just like, oh, I'm going to read all my notes now. <laughs> wow. See, I, I should really write down notes more. Yeah, you're an idiot for not writing down I, notes. I, I really should. <laughs> See, and that's why you stay up tonight. No. Yes. No. Yes. You can't force me to do it. I'm a grown boy. Uh, I'm a grown boy. <laughs> my name is Dilksy. Look, okay, when, once my university degree... Let's look at it this way. Once my university degree is over, I can do whatever the fuck I want. But I want to wait three months to put shit out. God. But in three months' time, I will have a ridiculous amount of Twitter followers. My YouTube will be active. And I will have a lot more free time. Well, maybe. <laughs> Depending on my job. But Yeah, exactly. You don't I even understand work. Do wow. I do understand.
and work. Sort no. of. <laughs> sort of? Yeah, I have a job. It fucking sucks. Why do you think I don't edit shit right now? I'm too lazy. How do you have a job and then do work? Like, school work? Um, because I only have one class this semester. Oh. Fair enough. Yeah. But, but yeah, that's why. Like, I, I, like, like, once I finish all my university stuff, then I can focus on the YouTube stuff. And the live streaming. And the collaborations. Because a lot of people want collaborate. It's not just you. There's a lot of Oh, well, it's not just you, you know, one of the first people to view my stream. It's not just you. Whoa. How's it been here since all the right, beginning? Okay. Don't use the whole nostalgia thing, because I've got people before you, bro. It's not just you. Like yo, yo, you don't even want to know. Dope was drunk, and he came into my stream the other night. <laughs> He's like, dude, I'm drunk as fuck. What are you playing? And I was like, yes. Dope's back. He's like, it's been a year, and I don't know why I haven't talked to you. I was like, oh, hey. I miss Dope. Dope. Well, I, mean, I don't have any collaborations. Because we do. We do do collaborations sometimes, Oblivion. <laughs> we don't. Oh. We really don't. You're right. We need to. Fine. Today. We'll do Left 4 Dead 2. Whoa. Left 4 Dead 2 with me. And him. Don't steal my wolf away from me. Hey. It's my wolf. Hey, I already did Left 4 Dead 2 with duty, so take it up with him. No. Oh. Well, now I just feel like a bit of a slag. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you are. You've done it with someone else. Yeah. Yeah. I want a pure guy. Oh, I see how it is. Whatever. This is going weird. I, I shall take my exit. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, Oblivion, we'll play something too soon. Eh. What about Portal 2? Fuck that, I can't run that shit. Why? Oh, wait, do you have it on Xbox? No. Damn you! Who gets stuff on Xbox these days? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, Only idiot. That's another Xbox. game. That's another game that uh, someone else gave me, and I was like, I, I just want to borrow this. And they're like, cool, give it back to me in like two weeks. And I was like, hey, do you want the game back? They're like, nah, 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 nah. Don't even worry about it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I, it's never been given. Back. I don't have a HD PVR anymore. Did I tell you that? Yeah, you told me. Yeah, I saw my HD PVR. You're an idiot. Cause... You should have kept it. Never sell a capture uh, card. I don't need it. Who cares? Never sell a it... capture card. But in no situation am I gonna need the capture card again. Oh, okay. Unless I, well, maybe. Yeah, exactly, so you never sell but, a capture card. But then, I, I, with the money, I can do a lot better. Like, it'll go towards my snowboarding holiday, which would be sick. Have I told you what I'm planning on doing? No. For for my birthday, it, my, my tw it's my 21st this year, and basically I'm planning on going uh, skydiving. And basically, my uh, my dad, me and my dad were talking today about buying a GoPro, like, helmet cam thing, <laughs> and basically filming the skydiving as I jump out of <laughs> the plane. Which would be sick. Sick. And I was like, and then I was like, hey, what can I use this GoPro with? Because it's going to cost like 150, 170 quid, yeah. this camera. Yeah. So I was like, okay, so what else can I use this camera with? And I was like, a snowboarding holiday sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. So next January, I'm planning on uh, going on a snowboarding holiday. Cool. Which will be cool. I don't know where I'm going yet, but it's obviously not going to just be me. I'm going to try and get a load of people to go to get like Come to America! Here. You can you, America. I, there's a mountain. That's not a cheap holiday. <laughs> there, there's a mountain by me, and we could go snowboarding together. Do you know how hard, it, how expensive it is to get a flight over to America? Eighteen hundred dollars. Exactly. <laughs> Whereas I could drive to the French Alps. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no one ever wants to come see me. You see the price difference there? Eighteen hundred for a plane or petrol money for a car. You know. Do you see the difference there? Me, 1800 as well. You, just alone. <laughs> True. But yeah, I mean, that's how it is. together, yeah. trapped in a cabin. Fuck yeah. We'll make our own kissing booth. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. God damn it. All of the <laughs> fan fiction's being written right now. <laughs> I'm... Oh, good God. Water. As long as in the fan fiction, I'm just a bear outside <laughs> with a disappointed look on his face. <laughs> well, let's see. Did someone tell you they he wanted to write a fan why. fiction with you in it? Yeah. <laughs> it was weird. Let me try and find it. <laughs> They're going to be writing it right now. They're like, yes, Dilksy fan fiction. Oh, good God. Yo, I forgot to pull up on Steam that I'm doing this right now. Fuck it. It went off already, I think. Oh, no. What time is it? Yeah, it went off already. Never mind. 
I can't remember who said it. Yeah, oh. I got someone who said that they want to do a fan fiction of me. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really didn't know what to say. It's like people... <laughs> you just look up to the sky and go, I've made it. <laughs> yes! Oh, <Larry> is. <laughs> what is Fan this? fictions about me having sex with an Xbox controller. <laughs> yes. Popularity I exists. To, I did say they have to link me to it when it's done, so. He definitely has to link me. I'm, I'm kind of curious, because it's <laughs> about the fan fiction. So, I'm curious. <laughs> that will lead, one of two things is not going to happen. Either he's going to make your dick too small or your dick too big. How can a dick be too big? <laughs> Shut up. Actually, <laughs> actually, I have a gay friend, and he was like, no one wants anything. No guy, no girl wants anything over eight, because that shit hurts. And I was like, I don't need to know that. He was like, <laughs> I can't. He was, he was like, he was like it, it, it doesn't even go all the way in your mouth. I was like, shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. <laughs> I was like, why are you texting me right now? On your shoulder, rubbing you caressingly no, he was texting this. me. I was like, shut the fuck up. And after that, Welcome we... Welcome to the 18 plus section of this podcast. <laughs> and I was Today like... we're talking about sex and how big a penis is. <laughs> no, Flag but I was video. like... Flag it hard. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> and I was just like, um, why are you telling me this? He's like, I don't know. We were Because we were talking about someone else and I made a joke and he's like, no one wants anyone on that. I was like, oh. Okay, I didn't need to know that, and like that was the last I time I hung out with him. Not because he's gay, not because he said that, but because we've had planned conflictions since then. And it was because it was I, he was the best friend of a girl I liked at the time, so I was oh. trying to use, and he knew it. Not he was, he, I was trying to use him to get the hair, <laughs> and he was trying to put it in a good word, and it never worked. So I was just like, whatever. Bad times. Maybe that was because I got drunk at her house and passed out in her parents' bed with her. But that's a different story. Sounds like a good story. Yeah. Come on. Good story about yeah. underage drinking to get you arrested, yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to the topic of... Everyone games. does it, though, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> anyway, back to the whole 8-inch eight, eight thing. Imagine, right, a guy who's got a massive cock, whatever, <laughs> and then he that tries to fit it all the way in and literally, like, chokes me to death. Like, I'm talking about Bojov here. Imagine if he literally, like... Just was so clumsy that he just accidentally killed her. You can't. What would you do? Like honestly, what would be your? You can't. Go to jail. You go to jail. Did you hear about the dude who was having sex with a chick and pulled her hair too hard and broke her neck? Oh my. That was a that was a few years ago. Wow. That was like five to ten years ago, and he was on trial for a while. He was like, he was like, she said she wanted me to pull her hair, so I did. Just, just imagine that. that you're having sex with you're having sex with your girlfriend. She's like, pull my hair, and you go, clack, and then she's dead. <laughs> I spit all oh over my, my monitor, but that was like the perfect sound sound clip for that. Just clack. <laughs> I suppose it's just one of those things. Shit happens. <laughs> Shit happens. What are you in for? <laughs> I murdered three men. What are you in for? I robbed the store. What are you in for? I killed my girlfriend during sex. Just high five him, like yeah. No, you. There's there's a whole prison system I don't want to get into because I I'd get shanked in the street by someone I don't know. So. No, there's a whole like hierarchy of depending on the crime you do. It's actually like, say if you're a child molester, that's a death sentence if you go to jail. It doesn't matter where you go, it's a death sentence. Or like a wife beater or like a domestic what? abuse, like it's it's a death sentence. They anyone will kill you. What in there? Like what? Like the inmates? Yeah, inmates. It's. Wow. It's more frowned upon to be a woman beater and uh, oh well okay so mass murderers are more popular than rapists like even the mass murderers will kill a rapist because they're like that's not cool dude or like a pedophile or something a mass murderer should be like you know that's not cool bro you killed loads of people yeah <laughs> but i mean he didn't rape a child or a, yeah child less or would be or like list, he's not a pedophile yeah, or he didn't beat his wife to death or anything that's true. God, we went to dark places. We went to dark places. This has turned into a weird podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where the police bust in to arrest Wolf. <laughs> All of us. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Moon bear police. <laughs> that 
That reminds me of like a British game talk about. Even what is your I chat saying? Oblivion, that. you're streaming this right now. Your chat's way more active than mine. Just send it over to me. What? Way more active? I, there's one person and it's me. <laughs> no, there's not. There's more than one person. Yeah. No, it's just me. Never mind. I'm in here with you, Wolf. It's fine. Yay. Anyway. I've got a topic for you. My dick? How it's how, how it stream do you think people go on YouTube to hate someone? Because, right, what is game tag big ones? They've all had like SWAT teams cool to their houses. I mean, that is like a new level of like pissing someone off. I mean, if you really hated someone that much to do that, I mean God damn it, yeah. what happened to just calling people? Calling pizza to people's houses. Come on now. I know, right? I have yeah. and dude, and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. People are dicks, dude. It's 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 what also comes with the popularity. Is like, okay, so so what? I'm popular. A lot of people like me. There's gonna be those people that don't like you just because you're popular and you have a lot of people that like you. And it's gonna turn into they're they're gonna become extremists about it. Like, I don't like you because everyone likes you. Yeah. Well. Yeah, there's also the reason, like, there are people who are trying to get popular and can't stand the fact that you're popular and they're not. Yeah. Kind of thing going. So jealousy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Dilks, you're way more popular than me. I'm gonna fucking kill you now. Alright, bring it, bro. Come you. Over. Hugs for pump. life. Well, well, you both can be happy to know that I'll kill you just because I feel like it. No hey, hey, we're talking about me here who would kill people in four hours if we're trapped on Mars, okay? <laughs> I told that story to my coworker yesterday. It only took me three weeks, but I told him the story of the Mars <laughs> and how I'd kill people if I was there for four hours. Wait, what? I'm so confused. You weren't there on that podcast, were you? Where uh, nope. we, we talked about being nope. trapped. We talked about the. Duty we talked about the ultimate reality chess. show. We we talked about the ultimate reality show where it'd be you'd be stuck on Mars for five years, with about ten other people or twelve other people or basically the real world Mars where you just have to sit there and do whatever you want for five years until you get back and get along with them and all that goodness and yeah. I made a joke that it would eventually devolve into where one or two people would kill everyone else and start eating them. And since it'd be live and they can't censor it, it'd just kind of happen. And they made a joke that it'd be Duty Paid and Oblivion sitting there while, like, three people run by and then I run by, like, covered in blood, killing people. And then it'd be like, we've only been here for four hours. <laughs> so you're just a mass murdering people? Yep, all like, of a sudden. Like, Hunger Games style? Yeah. We could all be survivors and just, you know, be nice. But nah, nah, let's glitch you thing and eat each other. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> we could all be survivors and be nice. Now nah, I'm gonna murder all of you and eat your spleens. <laughs> I want all the money. I suppose if you got put on Mars and then you got told that if you are the last survivor, you will win a million pounds, then then the incentive to murder people would all of a sudden come into people's minds. But then, you know, you'd no, be no, like, it'd have to be you. You have you have to be the last survivor. But you can't purposefully, you can't, you can't conspicuously murder them. You have to do it in a way where no one else will know. Well, so like proper like ninja style. Proper like ninja style, like the ship. <gasps> That's what there's, we need to play, Oblivion. We need to play the ship. There's we, a game like that. It's called the ship, and we need to play it because I have no, it. You have it. What he was talking, what you were talking about, like you can't, you have to kill them. Oh, I don't know. But Oblivion, yeah, the ship. That's what we'll do. We'll play there's it after this. Board, but you can't be caught killing them? Yeah. There's there's an actual game and anime about that. Oh, okay. I have to re-download that. Re-download it <laughs> right now! <laughs> yeah, because my downloads would be able to handle that. It would. As long as you stop your stream. Stop no. playing games. <laughs> Wait, I'm pretty sure it's Oblivion that keeps on turning off every stream. Guy too. Oh, you're right. Do it after, Oblivion. What? We'll play it later. You you have the persuasion to get Boy and Eren and everyone else to be like, oh, come play the ship with me and Wolf. And I'll be like, oh, okay, cool. And then we'll stream it all. And it'll be fun. And then you'll be happy. Dilty, get the yeah. ship. The ship is awesome. 
It was originally Shit. a. It's originally a PS1 game that got ported to what? PC. I got a copy you can have. Oh, that's sick. Um, it's basically a PS1 Assassin's Creed, but be a multiplayer, but better because you're on this ship. And you have one target, someone targets you, obviously. But you start and you have to, you have money. It's like The Sims and Assassin's Creed multiplayer put together, basically. And there's wow. like, you can get thrown in jail. You can, uh, you get, and you get money for whatever you kill them with. And there's different tiers per round. And it's kind of cool. It's quite expensive. <laughs> no, uh, Oblivion it's, just it's... said he, Oblivion said he had a copy for you, I think. Woo! I wouldn't wait on me to buy it. Copy on Steam. Yeah, well, when you buy it, it gives you a copy. It's like, here, give a copy to... You have two copies to give to your friends, and when you give it to the friends, those friends get one copy so they can send it to someone. <laughs> so it's basically one person buys it, and then... Two, three, four, five... He can get, people can Yeah, he can give it to four other people. So essentially, it's like, here, here's five, five of the games for the cost of one. Play it with your friends. Ow, I just need my entire desk. <laughs> Ah. That, that reminds me of the Humble Bundle. Do you guys know about that? Yeah, the Humble Bundle's great. What, what's the new indie Humble Bundle? Bundle? What games are on it? I have no idea. The only one I did was... Actually, I did two. I did a Batman one and a Worms one. <laughs> it was awesome. I got Batman's... Like, I got... Wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. I'll tell you which ones I got. I've got... Batman Arkham Asylum Game of the Year Edition. Uh, Batman Arkham City. And... <laughs> Dogs! Gotham oh, City Imposters. <laughs> Whatever that is. Yeah, I got it, those ones. It's a yeah, free to play. Like uh, how long ago did you buy it with the. How much did you buy it for and what did you get Gotham City Imposters for? Um, I think it all came to like. Three, four pounds? Yeah, the Gotham Bundle. City Imposters is free now. Yo! This one's kind of cool. The, uh. If you beat the average of 460 on a Humble Bundle Indie right now, you get uh, – okay, so to pay $1 or less – or $1 to up to 450 you get Guacamole, Guacamole Gold Edition. You get Dust and Elysian Tail, Guyana Sisters, Twisted Dreams, and The Swapper. But if you beat the average of 460 you get Antichamber, Monaco, Fez, Star, Seed, Pilgrim, and Beat Buddy as well. That's a pretty good one. I think they're just incredible. I, I like the idea of it. Guys. Yeah. We are like at one follow away from 1800. Yo, fuck off. One follow away. And all of it, well, almost all of it goes to charity. Went for like two months. I, I do like that almost all of the stuff goes to... Hey, look. It's Dilksy and there's Steven. Um... One follower away, Steven will go follow you. Um, uh, it's yeah. not here anymore. <laughs> I know. People leave all the time. I don't even give a fuck. Um, and it's just one of those things where it's like, hey, bleh. But you give it to other uh, charities, and you can choose what you give it to, like the percentage. And I really like that idea. Yeah. It's a nice idea, especially when there's like one that gets real, like when they have really good promotional games. Like let's say the Batman one. The Batman one was. Huge. The Battlefield because... one was oh, huge too. Oh, the EA the one. one. There was one that had Battlefield three in it and did fucking amazing. It was like right. What? It was I like a few. It was a few months before Battlefield four came out, and they were like, "Here, Battlefield three is going to be on Humble Bundle with like Bioshock Infinite and a few other games." Wow. See, yeah. I haven't got Battlefield. I really should. I should really get Battlefield. <laughs> nah, dude, get on it. Uh, just wait. Don't even. I wouldn't even buy Battlefield Three because you're too late in the game cycle now, and I wouldn't get Battlefield Four because it's so fucking glitchy. Just wait till they fix Battlefield Four. Do you remember the Medal of Honor game that came out? Yeah. Soon. Wasn't it shit? It was like a Battlefield Four replica, but like yeah. I, I saw a lot of people playing the beta, and I was like, oh. I played the beta. Cool. I just couldn't read anything because I was playing the beta on a not, on a standard definition TV. So I was basically like, oh, it's a gun. Let's play. <laughs> so I couldn't understand shit. The text was way too fucking small. So I was like, that ruins the game for me because I can't raise the text like size. Yeah. Does standard def, standard def TV still exist, or is everything HD now? Like, oh, I have one. I, standard def one. I have one right next to me. It's There's thirty-two a inch. Level now, isn't there? It's it's fucking yeah. There's four K now, but um. Yeah, the four K TVs. Oh. Oh. I have a standard def right next to me. 
Honestly, I could hook up my Xbox and play to play it right now if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Just like if I wanted to, I could play my Xbox right now, but I'm not going to. Well, I might. I have like 10. There's like 20 minutes left in the podcast of that. Maybe. I'll play it after, maybe. And Oblivion needs to download the ship. Actually, I can't play Xbox. I have this podcast. I have to go to work and get my check. <laughs> I'm, oh, I didn't tell you my plan for a computer. Yeah. Because I originally had a plan where I was going to... I have a. I know a guy who builds computers. And I was like... I was originally going to go, I'm going to give you $130 a month for 10 months. And after the end of 10 months, I'll have my computer. And he's like, dude, that's stupid. Because by the time we get all the money together and everything, all the stuff that I bought for you will... It'll be still high-end, but it won't be as good as you can get for the money at that time. He's like, yep. just save up around a thousand bucks, nine hundred, and I'll give you some parts from my, and I can even help you out with some parts from my old one. And this is a guy who, I think it was like eighteen months ago, dropped eighteen hundred dollars on his on upgrading his computer. Damn. So I was like, oh, okay, awesome, thanks. <laughs> my goal is basically okay. I want a quad core that's like four point three gigahertz. I want to run a Titan, and I want to have a. a terabyte ssd drive and that's it that's all i want that's quite high spec yeah it's quite high spec it's gonna that then, uh, that then alone it, it'll be okay it'll be okay when i get it no it'll be fine by the time i get it like because i did the math and i fucking my pay is terrible right now but i might be getting a raise soon but Ooh. currently i get around 400 almost 500 dollars a month so I save up for two and a half months because where I live now, also, there's some personal bullshit, but I might be living on my own at the place I live now. So I can save up until basically then. And then if I live here by myself, then I can build it. I'll have my own room to build it. Because where I am right now, it's in a... It's funny. There's two bedrooms behind me. This is like a a mini living room. It's called the bonus room. But there's like a TV thing. And this is just my little area. I have in a corner here where I have like my TV and my desk and everything. And that's it, really. <laughs> So, so there's like, no, like, walls or anything like that. It's not, you're not actually in your room right now. No. My room is... I live with nine other people, and I live in the garage with my part of the family. So there's my mom, my stepdad, my little brother, and me all in the garage in a tiny room that he built in there. It's, like, barely enough to fit two dressers and two beds. Two, well, a bunk bed and a queen-size bed. So, yeah, wow. like, they'll be moving out by at the end of June or something. So, yeah. So, anyone can come in right now and hear you talking mm -hmm. out of the nine people. Yep. <laughs> you, awesome. it's, it's funny that, that you said that just as that happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if you heard doors, but... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was, I'm, like, that's just such a weird scenario for me, because like, yeah. me and my friend are going to get a flat in like a couple of uh, months' time. Yeah. Like, the concept of having either our cats in our rooms, or having them both set up in a living room... And yeah. then both being able to like kind of stream for each other, but then we would have to set up in some way. So our mic microphone only for us, and then we'd have to like have certain times in the day. And I was just thinking it'd be easier to just have like our two rigs in our rooms, and then yeah. have one rig in the living room kind of thing. Okay, okay, I I've, I've got the idea since uh, the gamepad does this. I was trying to get him on here too, but I didn't tell him anything because I thought LG was going to be this week. Um, but what they do is they have just a line. Uh, from what I understand, they have basically a line of like three or f I think it's three or four guys, and they all have their rigs just set up next to each other, to where if they and they all stream on one channel. So usually it's just one person streaming at a time, and like they'll just. Instead of being on, like, one rig that streams to just one channel, they'll be on theirs and they'll just log into the channel and stream from there if they want to play a game. And then they'll yeah. just switch off computers since they all have, like, XSplit or OBS installed with all the stuff on there. So, I mean, that could make sense. Or you could always do the uh, the rooster teeth thing where you just have both your rigs in one room. But I don't know if you fap with your computer, so... Well, I mean, that's, well, that's not the thing, but that, well, like... Well, well, I'm not going to read all the fan fictions of me in public now, am I? <laughs> well, no, well, like the big thing for me would be if I'm recording a video and he's live streaming, and you hear him like tapping away on his pad while I'm streaming. Yeah, I think that would be the big thing. Yeah, so or, like, while I'm recording videos, I think I would. Ne it would be nice to have the privacy, but yeah. then also to like be not or, so private that like I don't know. Or you could private. do the thing where you have your you have your own channel. He has your, his, and then like you said in the living room, you'll have one rig where you stream 
together where only that rig's only ever used to stream together where you'll have like a green screen and a face cam basically basically you'll be overboard gaming almost I, you don't know who they am oblivion knows who they are right oblivion yeah good <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of want to say up, like you're talking about, where you have like the computers in a row. Yeah. But then it's awkward for YouTube content. I mean, yeah. if it was just streaming, then it'd be fine, because you know, if someone walks past them, it's no big deal. But yeah. then in a YouTube video, it could be quite awkward. Well, Unless I've got. They're a part of it. Yeah, I've gotten that a few times in here when I've been recording stuff. I think in my Call of Duty. Yeah, in Call of Duty, my Call of Duty Ghost session too. That's another reason I don't really want to edit because there's a whole like ten minute spree where someone's in the room talking to me and I have to edit it out because it's just the uh, game's paused, <laughs> which isn't well, a big that, deal. That's okay. If it's paused, then that's fine because you can just edit it out, can't you? Yeah, yeah. I just edit the shit. I, yeah. I really, I, I'm lazy and I don't like editing because I, 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 depending on how it is. If say I'm, I'm recording a Pokemon game. And in the first episode, I'm going to ask, hey, do you guys want me to, do you want me to show the grinding or do you want me to grind without recording? Because if they're like grind without recording, that puts so much less stress on me because I can play the game and then I can just grind in my downtime. Yeah. But it's like if they want me to grind while recording, I mean, I can grind while I'm recording, but it's not like it's going to be commentary. It's going to be me fucking grinding. Well, you can do like a time lapse. Yeah. See, I could do a time lapse. I don't know how to do that. So I really don't give a fuck. Really? Yeah. I can't remember. I did it for one of my Minecraft videos. I can't remember which one. It was like me collecting sheep or something crazy. Yeah. And like I was, and like right at the start, I was like, "Here's what I did whilst I wasn't recording." And then I just did because I every time I played Minecraft, I just recorded it. And yeah. then basically, uh, what software do you use? Editing software. I use Sony Vegas. Oh, so it is. It is really easy. All you have to do for time lapsing is just uh, select the file and get it into Vegas or whatever. And then at the end, so to the right of it. Just hold down control and left click, and instead of dragging right to make it longer, yeah. drag it left, and it will just fast forward it all. And then mm -hmm. you want to get rid of the audio, because else it'd be like really squeaky chipmunk style. Oh, that'd be so pretty maybe, awesome. Yeah, so okay, so now that I know how to do that, I'll ask you again later. I might. It, it just it depends. Like there's certain games where I'm just like, oh, okay. But now here's the thing. Now I have a question. Go on. Um. Since I'm going to be finishing Ghosts, and what day does Dark Souls 2 come out? And I'll be streaming Dark Souls 2, and I won't be recording Dying Light. And I need to find out when Dying Light comes out. Because I think I have a, um, hold on. Dark Souls 2 comes out the 11th, so I'll be streaming that. So, let me Google the Dying Light release date. <laughs> okay, there we go now. Dying Light release date. Blah, 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 blah. Blue, 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 blue. Fucking A, it doesn't tell me here. <laughs> really? Why would you not tell me on GameStop Maybe it's website? Not released yet? No, there's a there's a release date. Oh, I'll just go to the Wikipedia. Oh, okay. Um, come on, Dying Light release date. It's still oh, it's in spring 2014. It's not guaranteed yet. So yeah, there is no release date. So I was I need to do one more one more series, and I don't know what game to do. I'm gonna gather games. Talk about yourself. I'm gonna gather games that I think might happen. Okay. Oblivion, you here? I don't know anymore. <laughs> I think I'm two somewhere. suggestions for this stream would be cool. Right, I've got two ideas for this stream, or the podcast kind of thing. Having a window where for wall screen, so like when he said that I'm going to look for blah, 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 blah. He could just put up this like little window. That'd be kind of cool. And then you could, yeah. ooh, you could animate it. Ooh, animations! And then, second idea would be You're for, um, you to do that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as I give him the idea, I'm like, oh my god, that'd be amazing. I'm I like, do, uh, I look all the stuff up on my phone, by the way. It's just much easier. Because again, my, my screen's small as fuck. Okay, so, <laughs> there are four choices now. There's Halo Reach, <laughs> Halo 4, Dishonored, or Brink. <laughs> I say Halo 4. Because why not? Oblivion, what do you say? I say get a dartboard and just throw it at numbers and put one to each number and just go with it. Or I can do... Ooh, I can do the random roll generator, the random number generator, and just see which one does that. Alright, I've already killed it. I'm gonna do Brink or Halo 4 now. 1800 followers! Oh my god! 
Okay. Should have tweeted out the podcast. Now you're going to do it all late. I did. Oh, okay. I did I'm an hour ago, so screw you. All right. We know how active your followers you are now. really do it. I think that, like, I've said... Dilksy, do you have... Hold on. Dilksy, do you have Brink? I do not. Damn it. I heard it's a good game, though. It's, it's all right. free running, isn't it? Soon. Yeah. I could probably just get my other friend to do Halo 4 with me. We'll see. I'll decide. Halo 4, friend! Yeah! You'll know in like six days. <laughs> Seven, two weeks. Um, What? What kind of Halo 4 content will you do though? Multiplayer or like this? No, campaign. Campaign. I'm, I was, I'm talking about a single player campaign. I'm not talking about oh, okay. anything else. <laughs> I so could do Fable 3. on your channel right now then? <laughs> Currently, I'm doing the Ghosts one and that's about it. I, I have... I have a curse. I've never finished a single player series on my channel. You are rubbish. <laughs> Shut then up. Then again, I technically haven't either. There's only actually been one series I've ever finished, and that was my Road to Paladin in Realm of the. <gasps> That's what we're playing, Doxy. After this, we're playing Realm of the Dark. No, uh, Realm of the Mad God. Are we? Yeah, and we're recording it's only it. Half eleven. Ah, uh, dude, it, it will. We can record for forty-five minutes, and it'd be easy. That game downloads in three seconds. Oblivion, you're doing it too. Um, Tired. It's an 8-bit bullet hell MMO. Tired. It's an 8-bit <laughs> bullet hell MMO. But I've got a 9 a.m. Like, we've gone over this topic before, Wolf. <laughs> yeah, 7 hours isn't bad. It, it'll be like 45 minutes. Come on, you dickbag. You are rubbish. You're rubbish. I made you a free banner thingy for your podcast. So I should be allowed uh, to go whenever I want. It took 3 minutes. Shut up. It took longer than three minutes, and there's another idea that I would, I want to put across. What? What about me making an intro for the podcast? But basically, it wouldn't be like a normal intro. It would be like how this is now, because I've learned how to animate in Photoshop. <laughs> so basically, I could uh, get stuff to fade in and then have the Space Bandit podcast come in from the top, bottom, and sides, and then it would literally just fade into... I don't know how. What do you use OBS or Xplit? Yeah, OBS. OBS. <laughs> what was that? I, I choked on my spit because I was in the middle. Of like you know when you're talking, you just like swallow spit a little bit. I kind of, I kind of was doing that, and I didn't at the same time. I was like, oh. Yeah, I can look into. OBS choking him. Yeah, basically, it's like you better, better say it's me. So yeah, that was my idea, and then I could also look at doing an animation screen for you know, like if if you want to show something like a video or something like that. Yeah. And instead of just talking about it, you could actually show it in the podcast. I yeah, well, be cool. again, problem arises. My fucking screen is too small. Yeah, true. But then you just Googled you how to do the thing. Yeah, I Googled it on my phone. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe you should get another screen. <laughs> That's what I'm doing when I get the PC. God. Get like a, like a crappy 16 by... Uh, not 16 by 9. That's a, that's a good one. What's the one that's a, a square? 4 by 3. Yeah, 4 by 3. Get one of them. Just have that as your second screen. Or, you know, I could just use the TV I use for uh, recording as a second yeah. monitor. If it's, got the com if it's got the connection. Yeah. Get an old Macintosh 95. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I found out, right? At um, some live streaming events, the casters play on Windows XP or 95 or 2000, like really old operating systems, because they don't have viruses anymore. Yeah. Apparently that's like why they do it, and because they're so fast to load and stuff like that, so if a, if a computer crashes, they literally just like restart and it's done within three seconds. Yeah. So instead of having to get like an SSD, they just have really old Windows and just yeah. have literally like StarCraft on it and that's it. Mm-hmm. And that just, it, it astounded me. Like, you think that the new, the new like, software and survival would be a lot better than the old ones? Yeah. Then, then maybe it's just more... Since when? Fine. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's it, though. I mean, we can go for an hour and ten minutes. Oh, one, one last thing. Okay. An idea for, for next podcast is add a bit of 
uh, news, like everyone finds a news story. And nah, fuck about, you. And we talk about a funny, nah, fuck it's you. Gonna be a funny bit of news. Nah, it's fuck you. Be, like, serious. No, because I'm the only one that ever does research for podcast fucking uh, topics, and you know how this goes. I get four or five, and then that's it, and it's over in 20 minutes, because you bitches don't contribute to anything. Hey, I contributed. Hey, hey. Yeah, you did. But I mean, you know what I mean. Screw you. Screw you. I'm hey. going. I'm going right now. Uh, Don't care about news? Uh, uh, my name is Dilksy. My what? name is Dilksy and I'm a little bitch. Wolf. <laughs> Can we ever go a podcast without you doing that? No. Never. Never. <laughs> it's just too good. I think that's it though. So everyone can find Dilksy where? At the bottom of a hole. That's where they can find him. Um, everyone can find Oblivion where? <laughs> Twitch. Living chaos. Good. And everyone can find me here. All right. In a hole. <laughs> yep. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Bye.